Okay, so we're going to build our folio. This is what we're going to be making. It is 10 inches in this direction. This is a landscape, 10 inches by seven and three quarters inches tall. And it has four panels. So you open it up, there's panel one, panel one, panel two, middle spine, panel three, panel four, and then it closes up and you have these two one inch spines and here's your two and one quarter inch spine. It's hard to get all in one view, but this is what we're making. So what you will need is you're going to cut with your chipboard, a medium weight chipboard, four pieces at 10 inches in this direction and seven and three quarters inches tall. So cut four of those. Then for your two smaller spines, which are these, you're going to cut two pieces that are one inches wide, and they are also seven and three quarter inches tall. So everything is, oops, I didn't cut these to be seven and three quarters inches tall. Um, I'll have to go back and do that. And this one, the center spine is two and a quarter inches wide by seven and three quarters inches tall. So get all those cut, and I'll have to cut these um, to, to seven and three quarters inches tall, and we will be right back. So this is how you're going to be laying out your chipboard pieces. You'll have four panels, Panel one and panel two are separated by one inch spine. Panel two and panel three will be separated by the middle two and a quarter inch spine. And then panel three and four will be separated by that one inch spine again. We will be joining the pieces together with this natural um, packing tape. So this is just packing tape. It's really strong. It's not the glossy one. I will put a link below where to get this at Amazon. If it's glossy, nothing will stick to it. This has a texture um, and it will, you can glue on it, you can put score tape on it and it'll hold on this. So this is how we're going to be putting the tape on. This is that packing tape right here. So it is joining the spines to the chipboard panels together like that. So that's how we're going to be doing it. They never crack. You'll never have a crack in your spine with this. And like I said, it's really strong. So we're going to start with our center spine, the two and a a quarter inch wide spine and we're going to be joining the second and third panel to this spine. Remember you need to have a space in between where the spine is. All you need to do, it doesn't matter what width of your chipboard, it just has to be two times the width of your chipboard. So you can make a little jig and it's basically two pieces of chipboard put together so you know this is going to be the amount of space you need in between those two pieces. Okay, so real easy. Now what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be attaching one side at a time. Now I am going to be using this tape and uh, let's see, should I put it on? It doesn't really matter. This is two inches wide. So I'm going to attach it kind of in the center. So we're gonna have one inch of the tape on the, the center spine 
and one inch on the panel piece. So this is around eight inches tall. So I'm going to make this um, about 10 inches long. So I'm just going to put it down on my mat here and go about 10 inches. And if you have your mat, you can, you know where to put it. You have a little line where you're going to be putting it. So, so let me get that about half an inch here on this side and a half an inch on this side. I probably didn't get long enough on that side. But that's okay. We're going to fix that. And then I'm just going to cut this. And I just use one of these rotary trimmers much easier. So got that down. I'm going to lift this up. Sticky, sticky. Make sure your mat is clean. Now we're going to be applying one, one of our panels. Doesn't matter which one. So get my jig. Where did I put that jig? I just had it. Here it is. So I want to get this squared away. So let's see. So get this squared up. Get my jig in here. And then you're just going to be pushing this piece. Make sure they're at the same height. So you can see your height. Oh, you can't see it. You can see your height here. And then you just line this up so they're at the same height. Push it into that jig. And then you're going to lay it down. Okay, so you take your jig out. Then you have these little tails. So you're just going to pull them over. Get good contact with the chipboard on the top. And then just pull it down. It doesn't matter if you have creases. The creases will come out. They're not going to show. Um, and then get a bone folder. But make sure it's not sharp. It's one of the rounded ones. And go ahead and go in that gusset. Push the tape down. You do not want to cut the tape with a sharp bone folder. Same thing down here. Pull it tight. Go in that gusset. So there you have this hinge. It's pretty strong. We're going to actually add another piece to go around it to get to strengthen it. For now, we're just kind of connecting the boards and we're going to cover up this part also. But first, let's continue just adding the, the pieces. So we added uh, number two. So we need to add number three. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to Get our tape, kind of get this squared up so you know where the, there's our one inch. So that's where we're going to aim for up there, or you can aim for the half an inch here. Remember, this is a two inch tape, so we're just kind of, and this does not have to be perfect. Does not have to be perfect. Then just gonna cut this. And if you don't want to do it this way and you want to do it the old fashioned way, go ahead, that, that's fine too. This way you just never get any cracks in that spine. So pull this up. 
and now we're going to get our our gig our piece gonna put that gig in here push it up against the spine and then put this piece line it up so it's even top to bottom push it against that gig and then put it down so now we're going to be attaching our one inch spine this was panel this was panel three so i'm going to grab panel four it doesn't matter <laughs> they're the exact same size so what i'm going to do is actually attach um, the one inch spine to panel three and panel four with one strip of tape. So what I'm going to do is let me just pull this down and cut, cut a 10 inch piece, about 10 inch piece. And what I'm going to try to do, see if this will work, turn it over sticky side up and go ahead and center my, my one inch strip kind of like in the middle, the middle here, and drop it down to the middle up here. So that way I have um, two wings so we can attach. I got some, some wrinkles in here, but I think I can get them out. The wrinkles are really easy to get out of this tape. So the wrinkles are out of there on that side. So, so now what we're gonna do is get our gig. You'd think I would keep that gig around. Get the gig, put it right next to the one inch spine. And do the same thing. Line this up top to bottom. Make sure the two um, top ends are this at the same location and push and put it down. Remove the gig, same thing, put the gig down next to the spine. Get your fourth panel, push it against the gig, line it up top to bottom, make sure the top and bottom are even and push down. Move the gig, pull the tape, get your bone folder, go in those gussets, here it down, flip it over. Pull the tape, go in those gussets, tear it down, and then just push out any of the wrinkles that are in here, go back in those gussets. Be sure you do not use a sharp edge of a bone folder. You will cut the tape and you will be mad. I've, why, how do I know? Because I've done it so many times. Oh my goodness. 
I put this one on? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter um, which side's which, but uh, I I put this one on backwards because it does it doesn't matter. We're gonna go over them again anyway. You'll see. It doesn't matter which side the tape's on. This one, I have the raw edges here. And then this one, I have the total edges here. It doesn't matter. You'll see. So there, all we have to do is do the last one inch spine and connect it to panel one and we'll be done. So here's panel one. Here is our one inch spine centered in the sticky side of the tape. I got some debris in here. Same thing, get your your gig butted up against that one inch spine. Get this centered top to bottom. Push it in against the spine and lay it down. Get your second panel, get your gig pressed against that one inch spine. Repeat the process, get it lined up top to bottom, trying to find that, there, there it is, and push and lay it down. Pull the tape. Go in that gusset with the bone folder. And go in this gusset. Through the bottom, pull the tape. Start in the middle. Go in that gusset. And go in this other gusset. Push it down. Turn it over. Make sure, push that tape in. Make sure you use the smooth side of the bone folder. So we basically have got it all hooked together. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to to reinforce these spines by wrapping it again. And I'm going to be covering up um, this naked board that doesn't have any tape on it. So now which one's going to be the outside and which one's going to be the inside. So I think I will have it like this, is this the way I want it? This is gonna be our main spine. So what I think I'm going to do is have it like this. So this is our main spine, the one that's been covered here. And then these two are pretty much um, naked. So I'm going to start with these. I'm going to cover up these totally on this side. So this part's fairly easy. Put it down on your board. I'm going to put this in the middle and I am just gonna put a piece of tape that follows these lines here. Follow that line there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go down, pull it to the line down here. Go in with 
the bone folder here. And the bone folder here. Turn it over. Pull it again and go in with the bone folder. Oops. What did I do here? Pull this one, go in with the bone folder. out and I'm actually going to do it one more time because I, I, once we get all these done once we're going to go through it one more time to really reinforce that spine I don't like it wobbly um, so now we're going to do this middle piece So this one, I'm just going to cover this part here. Uh, so I'm just going to basically follow it from here to here. I'm making it look a lot harder than it is. I usually have my head way down so I can see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera. Oh, I keep tearing that there. Just wrapped it around. I'm just going to wrap this one around so I don't tear it. And once you mess with this tape, you'll see how forgiving it really is with the wrinkles. It's, they're easy to get out. The only thing is you need to make sure you don't tear the tape with your bone folder. So we got that done, this one done, um, and now I'm going to go over this whole piece here. So this was our outside, right? Yes. This was our, I'm going to write outside so I know, outside. So now this one, I'm going to follow it down. Got a little cricket there. it left it over
um, designer paper is going to be covering up most of this anyway. This is just for the, the actual rim of this spine that you're going to be seeing. So let's turn it over. You guys get the idea. So if you need to fast forward this, you can. Well, I am just doing this. Um, maybe I'll fast forward this too, so you guys don't have to watch. And this is the the other one inch spine. Same thing. We're covering that naked naked edge. There. So we've done all our spines at least twice. outside so it's like this and I think what I did with my album I actually did it one more time um, that's up to you what if you, if you like this what you're looking for is these edges these are the edges that you're going to see on your spine this is never going to crack on you and it, we're going to be lining this, wrapping this with um, craft card stock. So this is just going to complement that. So those are the edges that you're going to see. You're not going to be seeing the raw chipboard, but I think I'm going to be wrapping mine one more time. Um, then that's what I'm going to do. So once you have those all on, just make sure you go and burnish those top edges real well. So you've got good adherence to the board. And then you're basically done with adhere, you know, attaching those spine pieces. And then it's just using craft cardstock to cover our, our folio. And that's going to be done that's pretty easy. It's kind of the standard way of wrapping uh, an album. So let me show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so next we are going to be um, attaching our craft card stock. So now with this one, we're going to be wrapping panel four. So panel four um, is just going to be like panel one. So what we do here, you do on panel one, you get a piece of craft cardstock, 50, 65 pound craft cardstock, and you are going to be just adhering it like this. We want to make a line here next to the our little gusset so we know exactly where to put our paper, or at least that's what I want to do because I like to draw straight lines. So I'm going to draw it like a quarter of an inch away from that gusset, which is right there. And that's just so I know where to place the, the paper and it looks nice and straight. And I'm just going to cover up the, the pencil mark so it's going to be like that. So that's going to be my reveal. If you want a smaller reveal, you can pull it in a little bit more. I might do that. That's more like an eighth of an inch right there. Um, but that's a guideline. So maybe an eighth of an inch looks better. 
So you decide how close you want it. You just want to make sure it doesn't interfere with the bending there. I am, I am going to kind of eyeball this so this is even here and here, and then we're going to cut it off um, later. But for now, just figure out where you want it and draw your line. So once you have your line drawn, what you're going to do or what I do is I use score tape and I'm going to outline the whole periphery of my my chipboard with score tape and I'm going to put it right on this edge of the line I drew. So that I'll do that and I'll come back. So I have my score tape. It's all been burnished. So I'm just going to get my piece. I'm going to kind of eyeball so these are the same width. Line it up where I want it. And I'm just going to pull this score tape and put this down. Just make sure that's straight. That looks pretty straight. And then I'm just going to lift this up and remove all the score tape and put it down. So score tape's been removed. I'm just going to push this down. Give it a good burnish. Find those edges. This big old thing we're going to lift up and just like we do when we're making an album. Only it's you got four panels to deal with, so it's a little bit more cumbersome, but it's the same concept. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to cut out, we're going to just make a one inch um, edge all the way around. So I have a one inch little strip that I cut out with chipboard and I'm just going to draw my one inch line here. One inch line here. And one inch here. Oops, that didn't take right there. And then what you can do, you can either take it to the paper trimmer or use your scissors to hand cut it out. You're just going to be cutting one inch all the way around. So I'm probably just gonna hand cut it and I'll be right back. So got my one inch all the way around, got that paper so it's easily foldable. So now I'm going to get my score tape and I'm just going to apply it to the top edge of the paper here. It's going to go around. Now to miter your quarters, you're going to get that gig again, that um, gig, that jig, <laughs> and you're going to butt it up against the edge here, and you are just going to draw a line from one side to the other, and that's where you're going to cut. I like to put glue 
at the edges of the chipboard all the way around. So um, there's good adhesion to the edge of the chipboard. So we'll start with the, oh, this long edge. So put a bead around here. And a little bit in this space where there's no tape. Pull it down to the middle, then go out to each side. Make sure you get that top part adhered down with the glue. And do the same thing for the bottom. Now we need to turn in our corner. Got a little bit of glue coming out here. Let me go clean that up. So just push that corner bit in. There, looks pretty darn good. So you're going to do that with number one, panel number one also. Now panel number two is much easier because you are basically just covering from here to here. You're not wrapping it, mitering it all. So you're just going to figure out where you want to Cut your paper, mark it, put it in your trimmer. So I would think this is going to, if this is 10 inches, this is probably going to be nine and seven eighths inches um, um, wide. So put that in your trimmer and then you're just going to adhere this down and same thing, you'll make your one inch border and then we'll roll it, roll that, turn that border over. So I got the width of my paper cut. It was, it was a little less than nine and seven eighths. And then I just kind of made some tick marks on my, my panel piece of the folio so I knew where to apply my score tape made a, a complete outside edge with the score tape and then added some other pieces and then just kind of eyeball, turn it over because I got pencil on that side, um, eyeball where this is equal with this and then we're going to trim this off. So just going to get that there, pull, get that straight and pull this piece of tape and get that down and then pull all these others and then we'll be right back. So pulled the tape, now just burnishing it real well. And obviously you can use glue if you so like. I don't, I just don't like glue. Um, but if you like blue and you you use whatever you like. So oh my goodness. 
I put it on the wrong side. Oh no. Here. Oh yes, I put it on the wrong side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're just going to have to double wrap this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, note to self when you're doing these, and I even put outside, outside. This one says outside. So why didn't I put it on the outside? Well, I used a straight edge to cut out <laughs> my mistake so let's go over to the outside where it says outside i cut my piece of paper um so that's going to fit in here once again eyeballing the top and the bottom and i'm just going to pull this side Oops, did I burnish this down? I don't even know if I burnished it down. I'm not sure if I get this burnished down. I don't think I did. pull the rest of the tape and put it down and I'll be right, right back. Okay, so I got this piece on, kind of got the edges to fold over, went ahead and used my one inch gig and drew my line here. So I'm gonna cut this here and here, apply my score tape and pull it and pull it over and I'll be right back. Okay, so this has been trimmed. Got the score tape. I'm gonna pull this score tape. Add my glue, especially this side. <laughs> Wanna make sure I get this edge covered because I got that boo-boo there. And add some glue there. And I'm just gonna put a strip of glue over the boo-boo that I made. Make sure the paper adheres to my boo-boo there. And pull it over. Same thing on this side. Okay, so we got our fourth panel and our third panel covered, and you're basically going to do the exact same thing and cover pa um, panels one and two exactly the same way. So I'm going to let you guys do that, and I'll be back once I have mine done. So the, al <laughs> the folio's now completely been covered, so here it is. It's pretty long, but it looks so pretty. And the edges and the spine are so nice. So there's going to be your, your spine. And no, there will be no 
cracking. No cracking here. And here's this, these two little spines. So this is how it looks. So this is going to be like this. So that's how it is going to look. It is very solid. Um, what we're going to be doing is adding some magnets to hold this closed. And then we'll be decorating, doing one panel at a time. 